Yo, hello guys and welcome to Crypto Cat Guru, your channel talking all about NFT investments, the VVverse, the Metaverse. If you are interested in all of this, then you are right at this channel and you can leave a comment down below and make sure to hit the notification bell and smash the like button down below. So today guys, I want to talk with you about major significant collectibles on the VBF. So if you're interested in that, then stick until the end. I will give you also some extra spreadsheet where you can see how significant these collectibles are in terms of their time price um, evaluation over time. So let's start with some collectible and some comparable in the real life. We have the Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man number one, the comic book, it is worth um, around 14,000 on VV, 14,000 US dollar on the VV app, it's only 14 US dollar. Why is this difference? Because of the time appreciation over time. The real life comic book is over 50 years old. So that's why it is that much of a price difference in my opinion, for sure. However, you can see time is a major factor in the price appreciation of these collectibles. And another example I want to give you is the Star Wars collectibles. We had the first Star Wars collectibles in 2021, the Golden Moments, R2-D2 and C-3PO. So two major characters in 2021, part of the Golden Moments Disney set. And these will be most thought after, in my opinion, by Star Wars collectors. In 2022, we had then the Star Wars comic number one, actually. It was built by George Lucas together with the Marvel team in 1977 released together with the first star wars movie so it's really important also major characters like uh, luke skywalker darth vader and also uh, also r2d2 and c3po are in this comic book so major releases major first appearances then we had also darth vader and boba fett in 2022 so 2021 and 2022 really important year for star wars in my, in my opinion always the first three to four collectibles on the bbm are really major collectibles so now if you think um, will these collectibles be appreciated over time or not so if we can trouble the time in 2030 then if you think about you have the season 38 for example and you have the uh, first appearance of Luke Skywalker as a, as a Star Wars um, collectibles drop which of these collectibles will be worth more? In my opinion, it will be the first three to four collectibles will hold a lot of value over time because they were the first. Another example we can have, if we look at the Spider-Man collectibles actually, the first uh, Spider-Man collectibles were in 2021. So we had the Peter Parker collectible, Ben Riley, and also the Zombie Hunter collectible in 2021. So these three plus the Miles Morales for sure as a character in 2022, uh, built the foundation for these uh, great valuation of these collectibles the th first three to four off a topic like the spider-man or star wars and so on like it, it must be a theme in my opinion and then the first three to four will hold its value over time we can have a discussion for sure about utility in the future if there will be a spider-man a new spider-man collection drop for example with which you can yeah play in the metaverse or which has more utility uh, in terms of storytelling and so on. So this could appreciate in, in price more than these old ones. However, I think the first always uh, is significant. Now let's have a look at the collection, overall collection on the VV app. If we look at the first appearances, so if you go to the drops, if you go to the web app, you click on drops and you scroll down, 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 then at the bottom, you will see the first OG collection. And this is from the year 2020. It's not the season one, it's from the year 2020. And in my opinion, the year 2020 is when, you know, the app was not released as we have it now. It did not work as well. We only had the OG collectors. And in my opinion, this black white series and also the adventure time series will be really thought after in the future. Not only we have collections on the VV app, we also have comic books. So if we have a look at the first comic books on the VV app, it is the Marvel Comics number one, Journey into Mystery 85. So the first appearance of Loki and Fantastic Four number one. So these three um, comic books for sure holds a lot of value and, and one of them might be undervalued and you can guess one. Uh, which one? And uh, the second comic release we have with, uh, with uh, New Mutants 98, House of X number one and Marvels number one. All of these, in my opinion, also undervalued, not financial advice at this moment. However, 
these first two uh, comic releases, in my opinion, will be really worth a lot in the future. Last, I want to show you how this time factor plays in this valuation matrix. If you think about how can you build a multi price multiplier from the drop price to evaluate how the market price of this collectible is. So you can um, take some factors like the edition size, first appearances, and if, if the collectible is animated or not. And you can also take into account the release year. And in my opinion, these factors, all these other factors are more like statics. They will not change in value or weight over time. Whereas the release year, if you have first appearance, first season collectible, it will create more weight, more value over time in this price multiplier. So you have a higher price over time for these first significant collectibles. And that was it already, actually. I think I gave you some alpha, probably, you know, some collectibles that are undervalued at the moment in the markets. Probably you want to grab them until they are overvalued, but uh, not financial advice at this moment. Everyone does what he wants to do, right? Collect what you love. So until the next time, bye bye guys and make sure to smash the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you're new to my channel and you want to get more after like this. Thank you guys, bye bye.